Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Look, there are many aspects of the game that heavily divide the community, but one thing is certain. We all like making money in old school RuneScape, but what if you could make money by paying barely any attention to the game? That is exactly what we are going to cover today. Before we start, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that big red button and join our Discord server to interact with me and our amazing community. Today I only have three disclaimers for you guys, and number one is that, as we all know, nothing is truly 100% AFK in the game. But all of these methods are super chill, and I'll show you how much time you need to pay attention to your screen per cycle, and how much money you can make. The second one is that I will show you prices and profit as of the time of making this video, and if you watch this in the future, there's a pretty good chance that all of these methods will stay relevant, but numbers will be slightly different. And last, but definitely not least, since all of these are AFK, profit per hour is not going to be anything amazing. But, you know, it's better than nothing, right? So without any further ado, let's see how to make money with the least amount of effort possible. Let's begin. For the first method, we need absolutely zero requirements, and the only item you must have in your inventory is a pestle and mortar. You can use it on any of the items shown on screen to grind them automatically, and the crushed version of the item will always be more expensive than the original resource, because, let's be honest, no one likes doing this on their own unless you are an Iron Man account. Now, if you want more profit per hour, you can manually grind all of these items, but since we are looking at AFK methods, just do it once per inventory to focus on other things. The items I recommend the most are bird nests, unicorn horns, and chocolate bars. And like I said before, for all of these methods, you are looking at how many seconds you will need to pay attention for every cycle, or actually per inventory, and how much money you will be able to make per item, or even per hour. So, on to the next ones. I always like to make guides like these following the skill order, and up next we have melee and possibly ranged if you don't care about buying ammo for your weapons. But obviously I recommend melee for this one. You can go to the Catacombs of Karend, attack all Dust Devils at once, and with Auto Retaliate on you can wait for your character to kill all of them, for you to pick up all of your loot, then alk separate items, and then repeat the cycle. The general rule of thumb for this method is to find a place where monsters are either aggressive or in multi-combat areas, and for you to equip prayer enhancing items for prayer to drain at a much slower rate. If you want to test other creatures, I suggest the Gargoyles, Karasks, and even Dragons under the Myths Guild. For magic it's a different story, and I will focus on one lunar spell that will be extremely AFK and even yield a bit of profit. A semi-recent update made it so the Plank Make spell converts all of your logs in your inventory into planks one by one, of course at much lower speed than if you do it manually like in the past. All you need are runes to cast the spell, money, and obviously mahogany logs. For this one, you will need to play around with the prices a little bit because you'll barely make any money, but on the other hand, experience per hour will be very juicy. Up next we have my favorite skill which is runecrafting, and this is probably the least AFK of all of them, as it requires a lot more clicks per cycle than the other methods in this video, but it's better than trading traditionally which requires pretty much 90% attention to the game. At level 77 you unlock blood runes, and you can stay here until level 99 if you want to make a ton of cash and passively train one of the most painful skills in the game. For herb lore, all you need is a full inventory of grimy herbs, click one and then let the game do the rest for you. If you check the wiki you will always make profit on these, but the margin will be fairly small, so I recommend you buy and sell herbs relatively fast. For this one, I will give you guys an extra money maker that's not as AFK as I would like for this video, but you can turn clean herbs and vials of water into unfinished potions. These will also most likely always give you decent profit, but because you can only do 14 per inventory, it will require more attention than the previous one, so give this one a try if you want. For crafting, we have two options, starting with a very newbie and iconic one, and that is manually spinning flax like we did back in the day. Just grab a full inventory of flax and turn them into bowstring at any spinning wheel for decent profit. For the second one, you can buy gold bars and turn them into bracelets, because oddly enough, those are more expensive than the bar itself. And for another extra tip, you can also turn gold and silver bars along with gems into bracelets, but like the unfinished potions, you can only make 13 per inventory, making it slightly less AFK, so this one is also completely up to you. For fletching, I have two great methods for you guys, and for the first and more traditional one, we are going to either fletch or string longbows of maple tier and higher. Don't even bother with lower ones because they barely make any money or you will even lose some cash. 
Just like the previous two methods, if you fletch the boats, you can do 27 per inventory, while stringing them will be done in half the time and obviously will be less AFK. As for the second one, you can cut gems into bolt tips, and for this one you can also grab a full inventory and let your character do the work while you do something else. When you think of Hunter, I don't think there's anything super AFK, but the best option will be birdhouse runs. Technically, you only need to pay attention for one minute and then leave the birdhouses do their thing for one hour for you to get some decent experience per run and also get some nests for you to either sell or crush them for even more profit. For mining, you might think, ah, here we go with the mother load mine, but actually, even though it's a great option for AFK experience and money, let's be honest, you still need to pay a lot of attention to it because of the uh, veins depleting every now and then. This time we will focus on Amethyst since it takes a pretty long time to mine a single ore, and the requirement for this one is fairly steep at level 92. But once you get there and you want a chill method, some cash and also good chances at the pet, this is the place to go. For smithing you are going to do the tourist trap quest and then smith dart tips at an anvil, preferably in Varrock or Prifinus. The reason for this is that darts are the best option for money making that come out of a single bar as most other items will actually cost money to produce. If you want an even slower method, however, turning steel bars into cannonballs is just the thing for you. After the dwarf cannon quest, you can start making these at a furnace, but be warned that these are painfully slow and also not a lot of money per hour. Fishing is pretty much the definition of AFK money making, as we have tons of options to fish that will take a long time to fill up your inventory. You can start to monkfish at 62, karambon at 65, sharks at 76, anglerfish at 82, and the one final option, we are going to fish sacred eels at level 87. Obviously, these are just a few options I recommend, all of which are extremely AFK and will always give you profit since it is a gathering skill. If you want an entire skill to AFK train from 1 to 99, look no further than cooking. Not only is it great to gain experience in the background as you're doing something else, but pretty much everything you cook will give you a few coins of profit per cooked fish. Almost anything above salmon will be more expensive as cooked food rather than raw, and you can go to popular cooking locations such as the Rogue's Den, the Hosidius Kitchen, and for the more elite players there is the Myths Guild for you to go from 1 to 99 by paying barely any attention to the game. Well I mean I don't think you can get into the Myths Guild with one cooking, but you get the point. Wood cutting comes next on the list, and again since it is a gathering skill, pretty much anything you chop will give you profit. But the best options to do so will be available to you starting at level 30, where you can cut the willows and deposit them at places like Barbarian Outpost and Drainer Village, and at 60 woodcutting along with 75% Hosidious Favor, you can access the Woodcutting Guild, where you will be able to chop a U, Magic, and even Redwood Locks, which are all incredibly AFK. Just be warned that because you can get logs from other PVM sources, profit from woodcutting is not absolutely amazing, but like I said before, it's better than nothing. And finally, just like birdhouses, for the farming skill we have herb runs which you can do every 80 minutes. And even though experience will be fairly slow, it will almost always give you profit under the right circumstances with the magic secateurs, compost, and some other little things that you will have to take care of when doing your farm runs. <coughs> Link to a great guide in the description. You can also do the same with limpward roots and allotment patches, but profit is not going to be gigantic and it will take even more time to perform. And of course we cannot talk about AFK money making without at least giving an honorable mention to alternate accounts. You can basically do all of these methods on a lower level account, or even on your main one as you focus on, let's say, your Iron Man, your Hardcore, or whatever else you play. And also make easy money when playing on two accounts, or if you are crazy enough to play on multiple at once. The second option would be to prepare a money making alternate account that needs higher requirements, and just let it sit there farming cash for whatever it is that you want to fund in the game. Some of the most popular alternate account setups are Brutal Black Dragons, Rune Dragons, and even Wyverns for combat for example, or even scaling alternate accounts that's basically doing any of the previous methods we talked about on a second account, or in however many accounts you want. Now, why isn't this on the previous list? Well, when making this video, what I had in mind when tackling AFK money-making methods is for you to be doing something else that isn't playing Old School RuneScape and something that you can do passively. But honestly, if you're playing Old School RuneScape on another account and you want to use your main for something else to fund your bonds for your Iron Man, you can easily do any of these and uh, be ready to uh, fund whatever adventure it is that you want in the future. So an honorable mention to this one that I don't think it deserves a 
bots like in the actual list but it's still very important to talk about as a lot of people use these uh to you know make some extra cash and that's pretty much it just a few money making methods that require barely any attention for you to work towards a bond when you're actually doing something else I really hope you guys enjoyed and that you learned something useful. A massive thank you to all my channel members you're seeing on screen. And if you would like to support this channel monetarily, you can click the join button below and to check out all of the benefits that are rewards that you can unlock being a sponsor of this amazing project. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next Monday for a brand new video. Ba -ba 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 Peace.